Hi, this is Armchair Chef Lori. I've been shopping. I went to Joanne's the other day and I went yarn shopping. So I want to share my yarn with you. And it was $2.99. So I just bought all the, the rest that they had in the Big Twist Arcade. I like the Arcade. The Arcade and the Freelance, they're both going on um, sale kind of at the same time. But the Arcade's the thicker, bulkier five. And um, so I got those. I have some of these colors already. I just bought what was left. So this one is really pretty, has grays and some yellow. And it's uh, called Yellow Multi. And let's see, these all have, um, so it says one will do a hat. So, you know, three will do a scarf. I'm sure I have at least three of each. But this is going to be 154 yards, which is decent. Pretty good for a hat. So that's uh, Yellow Multi. This will be the same. This one has some browns in it. Real pretty. There's a little gray in the middle and then it goes to brown. I love these colors that change. Brown multi. So we have yellow multi and brown multi. And this would be another arcade. It's a red purple multi. I don't see a lot of red in this, but it does have some gray and some brown and some uh, little lavender. And I guess there's a little red on the outside. Looks like there's a lot of colors in this one, so it might um, change real quickly. So there's a red one. These are all $2.99. And there's an, another yellow multi. And I just bought all the ones that they had, so I don't know how many I have. There's another yellow. Um, <laughs> this looks like uh, the red purple. Another one of those. And is this another yellow? Why, yes, another yellow. There's four. Ooh, 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 this one's different. Which one's this? They are 100% acrylic. This is black multi. There's not a lot of black in there. Looks like there's a little blue and a little green and a little brown. Do your Joann's still have all this yarn? Because they had the Freelance and they had this. I just bought all this. Um... $2.99. And then this was another one. Um, pink and blue multi. So this does have the pink and the blue. And I know I have a bunch of these that I bought before. So I'm going to have to go dig those out and uh, add this to that pile. Now there was this one. And this one's gorgeous. The... Um, this is very, very peacock. They look like jewels. It's so gorgeous. So those are the um, blue peacock ones. I have four of those. And what I did was Jada and Stitches is doing a, another crochet along this year. Last year she did a mile a minute where each month she did a long skinny thing and my intention was to do it along with her but I didn't get around to it um this year she says she's doing Tunisian and I'm like okay that might be nice one Tunisian square a month so I bought a Tunisian hook and I'm not sure what yarn I'm going to use I may just pick a multi one and the same size and just just do one of each and just put them all together but then you'll have squares, so you don't even have to do a blanket. You can just do a scarf, or you can make a sweater. Don't even have to do it the same size. But it'll be neat. It'll be neat trying out this um, Tunisian thing. And if I don't get one good, I can just do another one that I did that, that, that works out. But doing something different would be nice, you know? it's Sometimes it's nice to do something different than what you do all the time. So now, there was other yarn there for $2.99. And this is not really something that I normally would buy because it is a number two weight. But look at how beautiful. It's big twist. Mohair. Look at how beautiful that is. This one, it has a halo. Pretty good halo on it. Um, 
this is pink and it has like an iridescent kind of a rainbowish but it looks kind of green it's called big twist glisten and these were 2.99 and this has 560 yards it's a number two so my thought is I got two of each and I can put these in with another yarn put it in with a four weight and it probably wouldn't even make it bulky but it would be so pretty so I got a couple of these two, uh, two of each so there's a pink one they're so soft it's kind of like uh, almost a cashmere you can feel that little thread in there this one is dark taupe <laughs> but it looks gold it's beautiful it's sort of like a, a goldish with the gold thread in it so yeah it could be gold I, I would probably would have called it gold unless you, they already have one and the third color is this purple oh my god I love it and the, the glitter in this one sort of looks green and this is beautiful and, I, and then you purple lovers like me have a lot of stuff in purple so this could go with any of the threads we have any of the yarns and it's called lilac um yeah these are beautiful i had to get two of each to mix with something else and this is this is gorgeous so 2.99 a piece for each of these and i did leave the freelance there so there was still more of that but okay i'm gonna throw these back in here and move on to the next shopping um let's open this up oh i got it for my crafting it is a clip light it clips on for a grill I don't have a grill. I plan to use this maybe on my craft table, maybe for my videotaping. And um, it's heat resistance though, so I could use it in the kitchen. Um, the, the, the wire, the net goes to any position, has nine LED, light, nine LED lights in it. Um, and this clip, opens up to two inches and it's meant to be outside so I think this is kind of heavy duty and it'll work it should work in here in the house just fine this craft table I think I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking this craft this table this would work good so that didn't cost a lot that was on clearance my clothing catalog place but I don't know what's in it. it might not be clothing we shall find out it is it's a wrap something that you can crochet but you don't have to it already comes like this I got this for sitting on the couch you know sometimes it gets a little chilly so I don't have to have the heat on so much and it's Sherpa very soft like those um Sherpa blankets and it has pockets so I can use this when I go out and walk the dogs or even run to the store it's like a pocket shawl, but it's not crochet. It's purple. My favorite color. Okay. I think this was the, the extra big one. So this would be nice. It'll fit and sit. Use this one. I'm sitting there on the couch. Take the dogs for a walk. I got a down alternative blanket. This was $29. And it was a twin size. And I like the twin size because I can throw them in the washing machines. Because, you know, I have dogs. And every once in a while, you'll wake up and it, to the sound of a dog puking. And you just don't know where they're, where it's at. And sometimes you've got to change your whole bed if they didn't get off in time. So, let's see what this, uh, see what this looks like. Ooh. Another good down alternative because it's not feathers. It washes up so much better, but it's also um, 
yeah this is gonna be really nice it has a good uh, it has a good cotton outside and it's not too thick so I could wash this this will wash up really nice <laughs> I have a feeling this is jammies if I remember right yeah these are long sleeve sleep shirt because since I moved to Utah it's the only time I've had to wear anything long sleeve is in the winter even in the summer I don't wear long sleeves but it's a sleep shirt and I like them really long because if I'm gonna wear it I want to cover my ankles and look at this isn't this cute it's sheaves sheep with scarves on so it's like leftover from Christmas um, very cute bah humbug <laughs> so pick that up so let's get this open see see what uh, Red Heart, Bunches of Hugs, Princess. It's orange, white, and pink. 678 yards in a number four. This is a very skinny, this is a very skinny four. Especially to have 400 678 yards on a ball that's a lot though if it is a four but this might look really pretty with that fuzzy pink yarn that I got that's pretty and I got some hmm dreamy I got red heart dreamy Yeah, they did hand kick, hand pack this. I did get it. Actually, the Red Heart Dreamy. Oh, it's got a fuzz, a halo. Ooh. Nice. And the center pulls. Nope. No, I thought that was the center pull. It's not. It's the outside. This is ethereal. It is dreamy, dreamy stripes. So pretty purples and some pinks. I had a hard time choosing. I really did. This is a bulky five only because of the halo. Otherwise, this would be a four. But this, that purple one, that fuzzy purple one would look good with this. And this is also... What's this made out of? It's acrylic, 100% acrylic. Why doesn't all acrylic look like this? This one's so fuzzy and halo-y and it's red heart and it's soft, which is unusual. Um, oh, I'm looking for the 355 yards. Okay, that is so pretty. And I did get another hook. I don't, what well, I didn't tell you what the other one was. Um, this one is a six millimeter. Um, I don't know if the other one was a six millimeter. I don't remember. Let me see. This was a six. Oh, I got two sixes. Okay. Well, they sure don't, uh, look like two sixes. This looks a lot bigger, but it's longer says six millimeter j10 this one says six millimeter j10 one susan bates and this is unique but this one definitely looks bigger than this one so uh this would be nice i could do have two going at the same time ba -da -ba 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 -ba. okay and do any of you watch 
Glenda. The crochet grandma. Oh my God. Glenda. She is doing some granny square scrubbers washcloths right now. And I saw these. And it's not just scrubby yarn. It's yarn that has scrubbies and regular cotton too. So I thought I've never tried making any. And I thought that might be nice because my sponges in the kitchen aren't doing too good. I washed one of my really big cake knives that's like this long and I sliced up my sponge. So now it's really annoying. I just bought my new sponge and it's all sliced up. So I thought, well, maybe I could use these. I could make some of those. Hers are like, um, they're going to be like a granny square with like a puffy flower sticking up to add a little texture to it. So, and I got this in three different colors, celery sky, which has some green and blue and gray and it's yarn inspirations burnett handicrafter scrub off um eight ounces 353 yards so i also want to make some coasters and i hear the cotton is good for the coasters so i did also get the um look at the swatch on it isn't that adorable doesn't that look cool almost like the um or not Casa that I made my, my um, bacon pocket shawl out of. See, look at that. It, 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 that's what I like. It makes it different like that. I don't know if that's going to work up good in a square. I mean, in a, in a, in a granny. But this is going to be cool. I can always do the moss granny. I bet you the moss granny would look good. I just saw that somebody did one of those. And I don't remember who that was. <laughs> so this is... Uh, color light breeze and it has like some light purples grays and dark purples and then the last one here is the same thing it's called um whisper gray and it has blues and grays looks a little brighter on the camera um i thought maybe it was the same as that picture with the orange but it's not this is real pretty now this is a four, but the fuzzy one's going to be a five. How does that figure? This has little fuzzy sticking off of it, but they made it a four. Okay. So those are the ones that I ordered on purpose. Oh yeah. It came in one of those blanket bags. I heard somebody talking about that. That's why I got it. Crystal got one of these and it had a paint can in it. And I'm like, I got to have one of those. I got to have a paint can. That's why I went and got it. So my paint can is not the same as her paint can. So let's see what we've got. I love this. This is nice. You can store a project in here that you're working on and you can see it. So the mystery yarn is Royal Batik Zeman, $1.99 a skein. This is a, oh, it's foreign, 100% acrylic. I can read that. Color 61, which is uh, apparently different shades of blue. And I did get one, two, three, four of those. Got four of those. That's going to be, what, 241 meters. Ziggy, how many yards is 241 meters? 241 meters is about 264 yards. Times four. One times four equals four. Two times four equals eight. Three times four equals 12. Four times stop. four equals 16. Stop. Five times four Ziggy, equals Ziggy, stop. <laughs> I changed her name because otherwise everybody else's device gets activated so i found out that you can change she's got five different names now and that's one of them so i hope none of you are using that one <laughs> it's hard for me to remember i don't i don't think of her that way <laughs> okay i have 
some small yarn. Super soft, 99 cent yarn. Yeah, so there's five and five is 10. I got six of each. Um, color 15, color 62. So this, it's kind of hard for me to tell if this is pink or peach. Looks kind of like a peach and a cornflower. And there are six of each. Those might be the same as what everybody else is getting. And my paint can. I'm very excited. I love the can. I got shades from black all the way up to off-white. Isn't that pretty? One, two, three, four, five, six stripes. That would make a beautiful scarf. One in each color. The whole length of the scarf. I wonder how long they are. Fair Isle, Liberty Craft Colors, four, wait, contains six 52 yards, one ounce each, 100% acrylic, it's a four, yeah, it's called Coffee Bar, perfect, I love that, and I think that would be perfect to use as a scarf. You make a real long one with each color and then you use all the colors to make your fringe at the end oh that would be gorgeous there's a project for my to-do list i love the can that's the reason i got it actually and the little coin thingy at the end that's to open it if you've ever gotten a paint can you use a coin or a key to open it and it pops it out so if you've never painted anything you probably would never know that but and it gives you the name of the colors that are on the inside. Very cool. Starts with cloud and then biscuit. Oyster heather. Cocoa heather. Coffee and black. Yeah. Oh man, this has just got my mind going because I'm a great idea person. I can come up with ideas to do all kinds of projects. I have a list this long. That is awesome. I am so excited about that. So let's put this away and I have some more. Wait, there's more. Okay, here we go. Here's some more Bath and Body Works. Now, remember when I was talking to you on the last one about the, the, um, stickers on the boxes with hazardous stickers i was looking for them one of these has one i want to open it up and see what they consider hazardous inside of this box that has the sticker on it those don't but this one does and i will show it to you see this see this one that means there's something in here that I don't know the exact term for that sticker, but that means there's something in it that is not um, normal. Let's see what's in this one. This is the heaviest one, so my guess is candles. <sighs> I bought more candles. <laughs> okay, let's hope they didn't all leak out. My queen of the geeky girls. Her, they sent her stuff in a plastic bag, which is very cool. Thank God, because it leaked all over the inside of the plastic bag. You know what would have happened if that stuff was not in that plastic bag? The box would have leaked, and it would have been put into Nixie, which is where all the stuff goes that has to be rewrapped and repackaged, and it could have taken weeks to get that done, especially with the amount of shipping that's going on right now. She's lucky that was put in package, even if it did leak, and especially because it did leak. Otherwise, she may never have gotten it. So let's see what's in here. I wonder if it's the accelerant. I have something that's aerosol in here. Could be what they considered um, my um, 
Quiet, oh. quiet. My room spray is aerosol. Maybe that's what they consider. Stop it. Peppermint sugar cookie. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's a lot of peppermint in that. Oh, that is pretty, though. I like these for the car, but I have those other ones. These are nice. That's really nice. Okay, peppermint sugar cookie. And they did have a bunch of soaps. I don't like the foaming soaps. So I skipped the foaming soaps, but I they did have a lot of the gel soaps on sale. So I picked up a bunch of these. The gel soaps were... Let's see, winter candy apple. They were three, three fifty. Two fifty. These were two fifty. Stop it. Regular seven fifty. They were five dollars off for two fifty. So I picked up the gel, the uh, winter candy apple, coconut mint drop. Sounds mighty edible to me. Um, pink apple punch. Um, winter. We'll save that for uh, next year. Has a little truck on it. Or gifts. Iced cinnamon roll. That candle's so good. So that's got to be good. And... That's one, two, three, four, five soaps. There's six soap. Winter Citrus Wreath. I can't smell them because they're all sealed up, which I'm going to leave in case, you know, I use them for gifts or something. Sea Salt and Lime. That's got to be good. Um, Island Papaya. Yes. They're gentle gel hand soaps. So... The only other thing I have in here is two more wallflowers. And the wallflowers were $1.87. These were $10 candles. Oh, gosh, I want to smell this. Which one's this? Yes. I got to smell this one. Salted pretzel milkshake. Oh, I got to try this one. See what this smells like. Ooh, that's pretty. Nice, a black lid. This was $10. It smells like pretzels. That is weird. How do they get that to smell like a pretzel? Wow, kind of bread. Kind of a bread smell. That's amazing. Okay. And this one is berry waffle cone, which would be ice cream. I love ice cream. Oh, looks like the summer, summer boardwalk. That's pretty, like galvanized. Sharp though, ooh, that is sharp to watch that. Mmm, like a um, like a funnel cake with blueberries on it. That smells good. Or boysenberry from Knott's Berry Farm. Now this is the really light one. <sighs> Maybe it's just full of stuffing. I don't know. did I buy? That doesn't sound like anything. It had to have been like a, um, maybe a pocket bag holder or, oh, it's sort of open. Maybe there's nothing in here. Maybe it's not in here. <gasps> yeah, it wasn't quite sealed all the way. The tape missed the seal of the box. So what is in here? Oh, okay. That's why. Let's make sure what's in here is what I got. Okay. Look at this for the car. Oh, it's a cat. Isn't that cute? 
That's probably not for me because I don't have cats, but I'm sure somebody I know has cats. That's very cute. And um, one air freshener. <laughs> Stress relief eucalyptus spearmint. Okay, let's see if that's all that was in here. I have more coming. I just push the buy button at uh, Amazon. I have some Lion Brand coming. I have a, um, I have some books coming so I can make more recipes. I bought some really cheap uh, cookbooks so I can try some things from those. And <sighs> so and I've got a few more recipes to make. I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. This is this is neat. And if you haven't seen my other video, I'm having a giveaway for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's yarn. But there's going to be goodies in the box, too. So there's yarn and goodies. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. And uh, like, subscribe, all those good things. I will see you next time. Bye.